A final report on the deadliest shooting in Maine's history shows critical failures by both the Army Reserve and police, which could have prevented the tragedy. The investigation reveals multiple missed opportunities to address Robert Card's mental health and seize his weapons before he killed 18 people. Maine law enforcement was reportedly authorized to confiscate Card's weapons under a yellow flag law. Police could have also placed him in protective custody weeks before the shooting. They also knew of Card's two-week hospitalization in New York for delusional behavior and access to weapons a month before. New York police also could have taken his weapons under a red flag law, which was previously used on non-residents. The report says the Army hospitalized Card during training in May, but there were no check-ins after his release to ensure he was taking medication and getting follow-up care. In August, the Army banned him from handling weapons while on duty and listed him as non-deployable. The next month, a fellow Army reservist wrote in a text, quote, I think he's going to snap and do a mass shooting. The reservists pleaded with authorities to change the passcode to the gate of the facility and arm themselves if Card showed up. Still, authorities chose not to confront Card. A separate investigation by the Army led to three reserve officers being disciplined for dereliction of duty. Card's unit leaders reportedly ignored recommendations from mental health providers to remove weapons from Card's residence. The 215-page report reiterates findings released earlier this year and essentially lays out that both police and the Army should have followed the measures available to them in the months leading up to the shooting. For more on this story, download the Street Arrow News app or visit san.com. For Street Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor.